Hey guys, so today is January the 13th, uh, 2017. I had to check the uh, date there. This is the uh, first test server of 2017 and uh, this weekend the developers are asking us to test um, quite a few things actually. A lot of what we were testing in the last test server when we had that weird movement uh, bug or glitch, whatever it was, so hopefully they fix that. But they've also included uh, it looks like three different light uh, weapons or um, I'm not really sure about it, but we're going to be getting into it because I haven't really uh, gone through the test of it yet. And there's uh, three medium. I'm not going to be editing uh, this footage at all. I'm going to try keep it as raw as possible. Um, like if you hear like background noises like birds chirping or <laughs> ice sliding down um, the roof, then, you know, that's pretty much how it is. So anyways, I'm going to be getting into the uh, test server. Um, right now I've opened up my hangar, or at least the app, and I see 1 million silver, 50,000 gold. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn a lock on target as well. We'll keep the uh, music on. Um, I don't even know what it sounds like because I can't hear it currently, but we're gonna be taking a look at the light weapons. Okay, so we have, um, there's a couple of light weapons here that we're gonna take a look at. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is, I am gonna buy a Galahad um, since it has light and it has medium, or actually, you know what? Maybe a better indication would be to actually run a pattern. So I think I'm going to run a pattern because pattern can be equipped with a lot of light weapons. Um, you know, four of them, and it's the only bot that can do that. So I'm looking at the store here. Um, I see prototype L1, L2, L3. So it looks like we have three different uh, weapon types. Um, I'm going to do... Just looking at the range. Okay, so this weapon looks like a trebuchet. Yes, I know it says <laughs> prototype level one. I think they're just kind of using the trebuchet just as a replacement. It probably is not gonna look like that. Um, who knows? Um, if you look at the stats uh, below though, 15.3K uh, damage, um, three second reload time and 350 meter range for this, uh, for the L1, the L2, 12.6k damage, 3 second reload time, 600 meters, and uh, the L3, 8,800 uh, damage, 3 second reload time, and 1,100 meter range. So as you can see, the closer the range, the more damage it does, and that's typically how it has always been in this game. Uh, the weapons that do like close range damage tend to do more damage than those that do, uh, you know, are designed for long range uh, combat. So we're going to be taking a look at this first. So um, I want to see the stats of this. So I'm going to put four of my pattern here. Good God, this looks crazy. Okay, anyways, <laughs> this is going to be funny as heck. So I'm going to put prototype level one on this thing. Oh my God, this is the most ridiculous thing ever. Jeez, okay, this just looks ridiculous. I think if I had to fire this, if I was on Dead City, I would probably end up in Springfield at the back of the map. But anyways, this is kind of what they're decided to test out. Totally ridiculous, but um, you know what? Let's make it even more ridiculous by adding a skin to it. So we're going to buy a skin. Oh, I just noticed that was silver too. <laughs> Sweet. So um, we've got the first one loaded up with <laughs> the light. So that's the light weapon. Let me see if the stats have changed. Okay, no, that hasn't. <laughs> so ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to open up uh, the second slot here. And we will... This is so funny. Okay, so I'm going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to run patterns first. Just because I can equip four of these things with it. But I'm going to do different ranges. So this is going to be the 600 meter one. And, um, you know, the amount of damage that this thing does is so ridiculous. I think if one were to shoot me, it would be a one-shot, but who knows. Let's go ahead and do this anyways. Um, let's see, should we go with... Uh, let's go with the bushy on this one. Now what I'm thinking is... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it different ranges. Um, obviously... You could, you know, pick what you want, um, but this is what I'm decided to do, and I'll do one with long range too. I just know this is going to be crazy, insane when it comes to the damage. If this is what it's showing here, um, yeah. So this one is kind of almost like running geckos um, because of the range. 
I'm going to put... I like the vampire one, so I'm probably just going to run a whole lot of them. <laughs> that actually looks pretty funny. <laughs> okay, so I think what, <laughs> what I'm going to do is... You know what's funny is the um, the dock has the medium, but um, let me think. Maybe what I should do is I should run a Galahad, and I'll tell you the reason why I'm going to run the Galahad is because it has a shield. Um, the medium, um, it has 350 here as well. The medium actually does more damage. I'm going to take a look at this. 20.3k uh, damage, a 3 second reload time, 350 meters. Um, now I'm going to get the light one so this is 15.3 so you can see the uh, the difference in damage here 15.3 for the light 20.3 for the medium so i'm gonna run um the galahad with this and uh, it doesn't look like they have skins here for that i know they have skins for the other but we'll take a look at that uh, shortly after this um that uh, that just looks ridiculous you know what's so funny is that the size of this uh, trebuchet is massive compared to the shield. You would think, like, if this guy were to hold a shield in front and get blasted by three of these things, I don't think there's going to be much of a shield left. <laughs> but anyways, let's let's go with that. I think I'm going to see some of the craziest builds for this. Um, I'm going to get a griffin. Um, I saw an image of the griffin when they released this uh, thing for the on Facebook. And uh, it just, it looked just ridiculous. So I'm going to go and I'm going to put a, hmm, let's go, yeah, let's go with the medium on here. So we're going to go with the close range because you typically want something with, um, you know, that damage potential up close. I'm kind of wondering now if, let me just go through these skins here to see if they've added anything else that we don't know about. Damn, that looks really mean. And it's so funny because the Griffin is a heavy robot and you think it's a big bot, but then when you put these guns on, you're like, these guns are massive. So anyways, this is kind of what I have in my lineup. Um, I have the one which is for long range, one with medium and one with close. And then I kind of have a combination, one with the shield and then obviously the Griffin. So we're gonna use uh, this lineup and uh, we're going to see what kind of uh, games we can get set up here with. Hopefully there are players on the uh, test server because they decided to open up the test servers early again. I mean, it's Friday. Um, generally, they tend to open it up on Saturday. But one of my viewers was saying the test server is up. So I'm like, oh, really? Okay. So um, I guess I'll do a video for that. So uh, here we are. I'm just going to be uh, waiting for this um I think the only editing that I'll ever do for this, um, at least for this video, is if I'm waiting for like five minutes to find players and I eventually drop in, I'm going to cut that out just to make the video shorter for you guys and uh, so you don't have to uh, wait and sit here for five minutes waiting for this uh, thing to load up. But uh, yeah, we can talk about some of the uh, changes and stuff that they're actually uh, doing in this test server. So I'm going to be uh, scrolling down uh, my list here because I actually have this uh, email uh, opened up. So we have three different, it looks like levels or whatever, for the light prototype weapon. Um, they have different charging times, but it's, it's kind of strange because the reload time of what they show uh, in-game is different from what I see in the email, which is a little bit confusing to me. Um, they have three different levels for the medium weapon as well. Um, they all look like a trebuchet. So, um, you know, that's kind of what we're dealing with. Um, okay, so we've actually dropped in on Shenzhen here. I'm going to start with... <laughs> I'm going to start with my pattern with long range. Oh my god. Okay, we've got some really crazy stuff going here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this stupid tutorial. So we got to move left and right. we got to fire. Okay, so we've we've got <laughs> You know this is so funny, everyone's walking around with these massive guns. It's like we mean business and that this thing's probably gonna do like no damage at all. Um I've been in test servers where that has happened. <laughs> oh look. Boom! Is that all it did? You kidding me? Okay, so it looks like maybe these weapons are 
basically a, a trebuchet that is colored and it really does nothing. <laughs> At least the color looks kind of cool. I mean, this one's blue. Not that it makes any difference whether it's blue, green, yellow, red. Just blasted that guy. You know what's kind of funny is this guy comes around the corner and sees all these big weapons poking up. <laughs> it's like, make my day, buddy. <laughs> that guy is different. Oh, it's, you know why? It's because he has a medium. Whoa! Yeah, nice. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna walk into center. Oh, that actually kind of looked cool, that guy. Although, something that looks cool didn't last very long. So I'm just gonna walk into center here. Oh, hello. Managed to clip him. I just got the beacon here because we need some beacons. This is actually taking a while to load up. Yeah, this is pretty much the trib. Um, it doesn't really do much damage. It's just a pattern with a new ridiculous weapon set. I'm going to go with um, this second one here. And I believe this one has a range of... Um, I think 600 meters so this would be the uh, you know the level 2 so the level 1 is the one that has the most damage I was running with the um, the long range uh, setup this is the medium range so this should technically do a little bit more damage than the other one whoa I don't know if that was from me but that was some serious damage Is that my own player that is standing there? What the heck is going on? You know what? I'm kind of seeing this weird movement thing again, and I don't know if it's just me, but I will be able to tell shortly. I managed to get a clip of that guy. I'm actually experiencing quite a bit of lag here, and um, this is actually significant lag. Okay, I managed to pop that guy's kneecaps. Let's see what this can do. Yeah, that, yeah, that didn't do too much damage. I mean, he's taking a... Uh, he, he did quite a bit of damage to me. I'm just going to walk into scent and take this uh, beacon again. But I am, I'm experiencing some pretty bad lag right now. So I hope it's not caused by this. But it's hard to tell if that movement is... You know, that I'm experiencing now is from the lag, or if they didn't fix that bug that they had before. So now I'm going to roll out with the uh, the close range. So this one should do more damage uh, than the other, but I've got to get within 300 meters. So this guy here is 452, and it, it's so hard to actually test this stuff because, um, you know, all the weapons look the same, and I think that's going to be hard for players to gauge whoa I don't know if that was caused by me but that was some serious damage okay let's see about I'm gonna drop in my Galahad and see um, how much damage this does yeah I'm not sure if that went if that actually took that guy out but that was yeah that was pretty powerful I'm gonna put my shield up There was actually some kind of weird lag there. Um, I fired the guy, but he's still, and I don't know if it's because he is lagged? What is it? Oh, you know what? I have to get within 300. So that's why it's actually harder to use this kind of weapon, because one is equipped for 600 meters, and the other one is uh, 300. Yeah, this is actually very hard to use this weapon uh, because of the difference in weapon ranges and I don't think I would recommend this. Oh my god, that just looks ridiculous. Is that a griffin? <laughs> that, that actually looked really ridiculous. This guy's peeking around the corner. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. Massive guns, but doesn't really do that much damage. Whoa! 
You would think that would do a lot of damage, but it really didn't. I think I just gave that guy an enema. I have a guy to the right side of me, but I'm not even going to uh, deal with him. I'll just go into center. Just take a shot at that guy. What the heck? It's going through him. That one's not. It almost looks like some of my shots are going through and it's not registering at all. I don't know if it's me, but... Whoa, they actually did a lot of damage. Whoa, jeez. See if I can get this. Uh, I got all kinds of stuff going on back here. And now for the Griffin. Yeah, but this is going to actually be really hard to control in terms of ranges because once again. Generally when you mix up your weapon ranges the weaker your um, Your bot composition in terms of overall effectiveness, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work um, I am experiencing some pretty bad lag though uh, when I turn It almost feels like slow motion I'm gonna try get because I need to get within 300 meters if I want to really get all my shots to register on this guy like heavy So like now and that's all it did. I think we're gonna be in trouble here. <laughs> I need to stop it taking up already. <laughs> Whoa, that actually did some serious damage to that guy. Yeah, you can kind of see the lag that we're kind of uh, experiencing right now. Trying to get these beacons here because this is actually a pretty close game. We just need to capture. We capture another beacon, then we're in good shape. Hello. I'm yeah, like one shot kill. Whoa! That guy's gonna take me out. You know what's kind of crazy is that the Lancelot actually feels pretty, uh, pretty effective against these bots. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna pan around, look at my uh, teammates, what they're rolling in. Um, this one's running the, which one is this? The Butch? Yeah, that's the Butch. Which, um, on this test over they've actually buffed um, the new robots. So the Butch, the Jesse, and the Doc have had their speeds adjusted, as well as the cooldown times have been adjusted, especially on the Butch. Um, the last test server or at least the um, you know what it is on the live server is 42 seconds for the cooldown time on this test server they're showing it as 20 seconds which is I mean half of what it used to be which is crazy actually more than half so for those of you that do have a butch um, that's good news for you guys um, yeah I'm not sure what I think about you know these weapons I'm gonna run a couple more games so far the pattern actually seems to be the best for this um, I think what I'm gonna actually do is instead of running a mixed set of uh, mediums here I'm actually gonna get a Fujin um, and the reason why is because all my weapon ranges will be the same and it will be easier for me to uh, calculate in terms of uh, range which I'm actually finding a little bit hard to do right now because all these weapons look the same so um, that's just something to keep in mind as well so uh, for this one, I think what I'm going to do is, let's take a look at this. We are going to go with the close range. So this one is 350 meters, which is equivalent to uh, that of aphids, that of Tehran's. And uh, this weapon is a plasma weapon uh, as it you know as we see it right now so that's something else that we have to keep in mind too I'm gonna to be getting another Fujin and I think I'm gonna be running um, 
I think I will run, I don't know if I should run mediums on this one. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, let's run, let's run uh, mediums on this. So this way we can take a look at these weapons to see exactly what it is they do because like I said, it's very hard to actually use these weapons when you start mixing it um, in terms of different ranges. Like for example, when I had it on the Galahad or the Griffin, um, when you're mixing your light weapons to your medium, you have to really make sure that they are the same range. And that's something I don't think I did, or if I did, it wasn't that effective. Okay, so we're going to start off with the long range. I think this is the long range one. Okay, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> that is a gepid running these three trebs. Oh man, this is going to be one of those uh, test servers where everything just looks ridiculous. At least it's good for a laugh. Okay, I hit something there. And I'm probably going to get hit pretty... Oh, no, they didn't. I'm going to see how long it takes for them to bust this guy's shield. I'm looking at the reload time, too. This guy looks like he has lasers, but, I mean, that's some serious damage to him. Yeah, we are experiencing some pretty bad lag. I can tell when I'm moving. And um, I think this may be a problem. This, <laughs> this guy's trying to corner shoot me with one of these things. How did they not kill him? That guy just ran out into the open. That's weird. I got some pretty good shots on that guy. Or at least that one with full... At the end, oh my god, is that a rhino? Are you kidding me? Two rhinos. Okay, well. Let's try this. Whoa, these guys, did they crash? The damn thing about this is, I can't really actually use my... <laughs> that guy just fight. I can't actually use my shield, because it wouldn't actually make any difference. Whoa, that guy did some serious damage to me. Back up, dude. Back up. Back up. Whoa, this guy's carrying me. Okay, well, we'll just, just carry me straight to this guy. <laughs> Thank you for getting me killed, bud. <laughs> that guy obviously wanted a piece of that. You know what? The Rhino is actually probably the best for this. Oh, that actually did some serious damage. So you got to use all close range. I'm actually not sure how I feel about this though. I mean... Yeah, he's able to block um, my plasma or this trip, whatever you want to call it. So, it's going to take me a while to actually break that shield of his. And I'm just waiting here. Yep. Taking him out. Let's move around here. This, this game's going to be over though, because they got four beacons on us. Yeah, I can't even get around here. It looks like everyone's testing these weapons. We need to really be put onto a larger map. Yeah, so it looks like most of our players crashed there or something happened. I don't know what happened, but we were at a disadvantage. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to switch out some of these weapons here. Um, we got level one, so the level or the medium one this is the one that does close range damage. And uh, this one has medium. So I'm trying to think, what if I were to maybe get a rhino? 
I mean, could this be the reason why they, maybe they are trying to indirectly buff rhinos this way. I'm not really sure, but let, let me get a rhino and let's put some, I'm gonna put all mediums so that we have that range of 600. And something to also note, 600 meters is the same range as that of a trident and a Zeus. Okay, so for those of you that are kind of having to deal with tridents, like fury tridents, this may actually be the answer to that. I have no idea what this weapon is going to actually look like. Um, right now, it is it is a trebuchet that they're using as a replacement. So I'm going to go in and see if I can get another game here where I can actually use the Rhino to see how much damage the shield can actually absorb, you know, how much it can absorb from these weapons. Because that one Rhino, he was sitting there for a while and, you know, I was blasting him, but the shield is actually very effective against blocking plasma and energy. And uh, this weapon's a plasma weapon, so, um, like I said, we're just gonna, we're gonna take a look at that and see how that, um, how that works out. I'm not sure how I feel about these uh, weapons, and I don't know if it's because they, they're trying to adjust the trebs. Maybe this is kind of the answer to a treb buff, maybe. Okay, so we're gonna take, I'm gonna run my pattern. This one's long range. So this is up to 1100 meters. I'm just gonna get the speak in here, and then once I'm out of this, then I'm gonna kind of move over to my medium. Get my medium range in. Oh, jeez, you see all kinds of lights going on there. I think everyone is in. <laughs> everyone is in long range right now. Whoa. There is still kind of a weird movement and I'm still kind of experiencing it actually. That guy's getting hit pretty bad too. I'm just waiting to charge up because once I... Is that a griffin? That is a griffin. Once I'm able to charge up and get a shot on that guy... Uh. Whoa! And I think that's... <laughs> is that a... Okay, I almost thought that was a Destria. That's the Jesse, I believe. And I, <laughs> he's already lost weapons. <laughs> I think I made him mad. Whoa, what's with the lasers? Yeah, this guy's trying... He's trying to creep up on me. Getting this weird uh, frame... Frame drop. Okay, so I just hit that guy and he didn't take any damage. That's nice. Got some weird aphid stuff going on here from the lag. I just blasted that guy in the face and he's still alive. And wait for it, wait for it. Connecting. Okay. So I managed to take that guy out. Um, I'm not... This server is actually experiencing quite a lot of lag. Bad news. I'm gonna see if I can get into center actually. Hoping that guy like pokes around. I'm gonna so get shot here. I don't even know how I survived that. I don't even know how I survived that one either. Okay, now we can we can really oh my god this really looks crazy on the rhino you know what i can uh, the nice thing about this is i can just set up shop put the shield up fire
This actually works really effectively with this. Come on, kill Frank. This guy is blinking all over the place thanks to uh, this crazy lag. Oh, that looks like a butch. Got some pretty good damage on him. Although he's getting closer and closer here, so once this guy gets taken out. Oh, connecting. Well, we seem to be getting a lot of this, and I hope this isn't what we experience here, or at least experience uh, tomorrow. You know, my uh, Rhino actually survived pretty long on this. That's one thing I noticed. I have 4,291 right now. Okay, now I'm running with my Fujing. Yeah, we seem to be having quite a lot of those uh, connection issues and stuff going on. Um, this... Let's see what this guy is in here. These guys are creeping up. I'm not sure what this guy's range is. See, this is the, the downside is I don't really know the range because the weapons all look the same. So it makes it really hard to tell sometimes. And the damage isn't spectacular either. Let's try another game. I'm probably going to be cutting uh, the, or at least editing the part out where you're actually waiting for the matchmaking to show up. And uh, I guess while we wait, let's talk about some of the other things. As I mentioned, uh, they are buffing the uh, West, the Wild West robot stock, uh, Jesse Butch. Um, the other things that they're also changing is they're giving the Rogatka more HP and more speed. Um, the Leo is going to be getting more uh, HP, like a little bit of an HP buff. The Natasha is getting more speed. The Gareth is getting more speed. The VTS is getting more HP. The Fujing has uh, also changed. The shield HP is 90% of the robot's HP instead of 60%. And regeneration speed has been increased Gecko has been uh, increased by 15% uh, in terms of damage. Ansel regeneration speed has increased. Aphid accuracy, um, this is something that many of you guys have been asking me, but the aphid accuracy has been slightly decreased. Uh, Zenit reload time has decreased from 30 seconds to 22 seconds. Um, then they have uh, paint jobs for the Carnage, um, you know, four new paint jobs for the Fury, paint jobs for the Golem, for the Fuging. So we're going to be uh, taking a look at that. Okay, so I'm going to run with my long range. Um, so I just wanted to really get it out of my lineup. So we're going to we're going to drop in with some long range. I'm almost fully charged here, so once I get uh, you know a target. I will be able to fire straight away pretty much. That really didn't do that much damage and I have four of these things too. Oh, here come the marshmallows. Maybe I should have loaded that up because apparently they've, uh, they've buffed them too. Whoa! Ouch! Ouch! That's like his torture for uh, missing his jump. <laughs> he, he jumped into the wall and it was... Yeah, that was a missed jump right there. Yeah, I didn't even do that much damage to that guy. I know I need to charge up, but holy crap, this thing's... 
not really that effective. Probably gonna get owned when I get to this side. It's funny as I'm actually gonna see the guy that's launching his zenits. <laughs> I should just stand next to him. That guy didn't even get the beacon. Maybe I'll just walk that way too and get it. It's getting blasted though. Why don't they blast these other guys? This... <laughs> the rhino really looks like a big bully. That's what it does. So this one I have a range of... I think 600 meters is what I put it at. How did he survive that? Are you kidding? Okay, I was gonna say. Coming through. Okay, I'm not really sure what that's gonna do, but I'm gonna walk right up to you. Shield up, shield up! Oh crap, he's got trips or uh, tridents. <laughs> yes. It actually looks pretty cool on the dock though, you gotta admit, like when it switches weapons like that. It just looks really ridiculous. What the he has a shield? Oh, that's a Natasha. Tasha with aphids, although I'm not sure what that does when we're all running plasma weapons and we can fire all the way through. <laughs> this is like close range, it's like stick him up and we're both... It's like stick him up. Four, four massive guns. <laughs> what the heck, and I still got taken out. But it wasn't from him, that was from someone else. Okay, now we've dropped in with the Fujing. I don't even know what range this is. I think it might be um, 300. This is the thing, like, when you make all your weapons look the same, players won't really know what range is, is which. So I have to kind of memorize it. I think I should have put it like in order where all my close range are on the left side. Come on, I can't line up the lag. Whoa, 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 back up. That guy's got some serious armory there. Damn, that took half his HP. That's pretty effective. Ooh, that guy got hit bad. That should kill him. There we go. What is this guy in? Hey, you better back up. Damn, that took a lot of uh, his HP. I think he's deciding whether to engage me here. So far the damage, I kind of like the damage potential of the close range. You do have to wait quite a while for uh, it to reload though. But it can actually, it's pretty deadly. I'm not gonna lie, it is really deadly. 
This is a carnage here. Wow. That actually did quite a lot of damage to him. And it's instant too. And look at the reload time. I'm almost fully reloaded here too. It's basically like a high powered snipe weapon. How did they not do damage? Did he have a shield or what? He didn't have a shield. Maybe it just didn't register. Okay, so um, I'm definitely going to be uh, kind of showing that game, I think. And I'm going to be uh, taking a look now at a couple of things here before I sign off. So the as I mentioned, and I'm going to be putting all the things that we have been asked to test in the video description. But I'm looking at this list here and they have new paint jobs for the carnage. So let me just take a look at that to see if they've actually done anything different to what we saw last time. Um, because last time they had a weird viper or cobra on the front. So I'm going to take a look at this. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, so it's, it's the same. If you didn't see a video or at least my previous video where I had... Um, you know kind of highlighting this build then uh, make sure to check that out I'll put a link in the description as well so you can uh, check out where I think I ran five carnage uh, with the skin um, the other thing that they have is the fury so let's take a look at the fury to see what has changed on there I guess I don't even need to really buy these. I could just kind of go straight to the paint job to take a look. So they only have two here, the panda and the lava. And I don't know why they said... It looks like they said four new paint jobs for the Fury, but I only see two. So they have to revise that, obviously. Um, let's take a look at the golem. go to the paint job here so the flame um, this is pretty much the same as I had before um, once again I'll put a link in the description for that and the fuging if I remember correctly the last time I did my video for the fuging it had two different skins and uh, let's take a look and yep so it's pretty much the same Okay, so that's pretty much it um, in terms of um, what we will be testing on this test server. Um, they have the light prototype weapon, which we're looking at. Um, as you can see, they have two different, or at least three ranges. So the level one is uh, 350 meters, 15.3k um, damage with a three second reload time. Uh, level two, also three second reload time, but it has a 600 meter range and less damage. And level three, 1100 meter range, uh, three second reload time and less damage. So the, the way that this pretty much works is um, the longer the range that you are trying to focus on, the less the damage. Um, so the advantage of it is range. The disadvantage is the amount of damage it does. If you want a lot of damage, then you have to go for the close range, but then again, you lose out on range. So that's kind of how they're balancing the weapons. Um, and once again, the same kind of goes for if you are running it on the medium. So um, they have for the medium here, let's just look at the stats. So this one here, number one is 20.3K damage um, with 350 meter range and three second reload time. And this one's 18.9, 600. And as you get further away, we're looking at, um, you know, less damage, but the same reload time. So that's pretty much what they have. And uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to show for this uh, short video. Actually, I shouldn't say short, it's pretty long. Um, but that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. Um, what we will be testing on this test server, I will be live streaming it um, hopefully tomorrow. And on Sunday, I will be doing that. 
uh, on War Robots a Twitch channel as well as my YouTube channel. So make sure to uh, check that out. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Um, if you you know like this video as well, give it a thumbs up. And um, as for my social media, I do have uh, links for that in the video description. Um, another thing that I've also added in my video description because um, a number of you guys have been asking, you know, what equipment do I use to record? Um, you know, what you know do I play on and all of that stuff? I actually have created a link um, with or kind of a kit. So if you guys want to check that out, um, you can check that out. I have a link in the video description. And until the next video, I will catch you guys later.